How's it going, ladies and Bruce? I'm Bobby Six Killer. Welcome back to After Party. We uh, we have our team now. We're ready to take on Satan in the drinking competition. And I'm saying it like that because we've been ready to take on Satan for that drinking competition about four times, and he's changed the rules every time we've been ready. So it could be the last episode, or he might just change the rules and we've got something else to do. Who knows? We'll find out when we get there, I guess. This time we do have Sam following us, so that makes it seem a little bit more final, I guess. And we made friends with our inner demon, and it's nearly morning. It sounds like pretty much everything resets when we get to morning, so... We only really got to morning to get the hell out of here. So this might be it. This could be the one. Is this Sam's taxi? Ready? Let's do this. In back to Satan's house for it. And somehow we're gonna have to outdrink him. Why does that go crazy every time? Sam, you're standing up. You know, let me say, I'm happy to see you two back together. Really, the whole thing just felt off without it being the 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 dual story. You know, not that I'm one to talk. It's always just been me up here. Thanks. You know, we're happy. Wait, 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 Cassius. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over my bear's big mouth. Hello? Awesome. I got this new tiny speaker for my phone. Fits right in my, um, whatever I call my ear hole. What do what you call your ear hole? We were saying that all we need to do is get two more friends now for the drink off, and then that's, that's it. We are running the damn gauntlet and Count of Monte Cristoing the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, can you guys do me a favor? Yeah, don't worry. I'll make sure he never says Count, Count of Monte, Monte Cristo Cristoing again. Okay, two favors. I gotta take care of some Botticins. What? Why? Someone there did me a favor, and they, um, they need something done for them, and that's all I can really say. I know the hourglass is running out on you guys, but yeah. this thing's kind of time sensitive too. Hey, if we miss the window... Won't take a Jersey minute. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's, uh, we can stop by, yeah. Great, thanks. Won't take longer than it takes to, you know, do anything else. That seems, um, broad. Very, actually. I get this constant feeling of selfishness from Milo. Everything is Hi, all about him for, for some uh, reason. Thanks for doing this. I'll be quick, I promise. Uh, do you want us to- should we stay behind? No, 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 come on. We'll all saunter. You know, his complaints about doing this out of the other is that it's not college, beneficial right? uh -huh. to him. Liberal, state, military, nursing, technical. Like everything has to be helpful to him somehow. Just university. Did they teach you about the peace of Westphalia? Uh, I think so. It was the end of an 11,000 day war between inbred royalty and the ghosts of Martin Luther. But anyways, they made treaties establishing, basically, a new world order of independent nations. I remember Satan watching it like it was the Super Bowl. <laughs> Only if his rival team won. You've never seen a guy so pissed. <clears throat> the, uh, all the monarchs bet on it. What about it made Satan so angry? Uh, he just doesn't like compromise. He thinks it's a sin, thinks it's a, um... What does he say? He says both sides just end up fucked. You know, that's not a uh, not as poetic as I remember to be. Okay, we're <laughs> almost there. It won't be more than a minute. Doesn't sound you can't poetic. Hold me to that, really. <sighs> okay, here's where I'm meeting him. Let's uh, let's grab a seat. Admire the scenery. Uh, who are we meeting exactly? I'd appreciate the spoiler, so I know if we should just cut bait and leave. We are meeting <laughs> some friends of mine. What friends? What's going on? Nothing is going on, Lola. We're just gonna. We are going to sit here in our non-doing of any evil and cleanse our minds while we wait for the moment to reveal itself. So okay. come on, take a seat. It'll be fast. All right, let's do it. Okay. I'm ready. Ooh, the seat's a little wet. So, what should we uh, talk about while we wait? Any ideas? Bearing in brain, I don't have any board games. Okay, girl to girl, just what the hell have you been hiding? Haven't whisper sound in conversations about all night. And Polly too, they're both up to something. Polly was strongly alluding to some scheme for Satan that was going around like it was fucking flu season. It's one of those things <laughs> that are, it'll be interesting to experience, I think, and maybe hopefully helpful, but really just so boring to explain. It's like a Gus Van Sant movie. Who are we meeting, really? You, I'm meeting you. What? What do you mean? Look, I've got a, uh, I've got a confession to make. It's, it's about a secret of mine. It's a secret that I keep very close to my chest, you know, something that's been buried for eons. 
Hans. Here comes the twist. Something that no living soul can... Oh, hi, Sam. If you see your asshole brother Satan, tell him to stop tying his fucking trousers to my mailbox, That is not a right? surprise. <sighs> that she's a monarch. Thanks, Tannen. It's, it's, it's great seeing you. Shut the front door. You've been a damn monarch this entire time. I was born in a socket of time and light between strings and waves to the animal we call God. I mean, I, I don't even remember how the fight started, to be perfectly honest. I just, I remember that I didn't rebel with the rest of them. And I couldn't fight my brothers and sisters for the sight of sunshine either, so I, I just didn't take a stand. I was too scared, and I just wanted everyone to start eating dinner together again, you know? So when it came time to hand out the punishments, dear old dad didn't spare what he called my... Ambivalence. My uncertainty in his order. So I was cast out with the others. That was, um, well, it was a long time ago. Man, that is so unfair. Once, I didn't tell my sister Dinah, breaking my grandfather's remote control. Christ, when they found out, you would have thought I was harboring Nazis in the basement. <laughs> the church, sinking into the swamp. I built that first month, just after the fall. I, uh, I wanted a place where souls could still intone with God, if they wanted to. You know, whether or not he was even listening. But Satan didn't really, uh, he breathed it as an insult. So, three days in, he tore it down and, uh, conscripted me into being a psychopomp. I think for him it was, um, romantic or metrical or something. The image of me driving back and forth, to and fro, never docking, never settling in one spot, never choosing a home. But, uh, that's just my theory. What keeps you from doing something else? How can he force you into being a, a hellcat? It's, it's fine. I think it, uh, I think it's what I was meant to be doing all along, anyway. I wasn't a good angel, and I wasn't a particularly great demon, either. But I'm, uh, I'm passing at this, I think. So, why are you telling us this? Actually, what did you mean by helping us out? I know you're coming up to your danger zone, time-wise. Yep. I can wrap it up while we walk. Look, I'm extraordinarily difficult to impress. I think that things that wear clothes have completely misread the universe and what should be carried as important, myself included in that. But <laughs> you've done things I wouldn't have expected anyone to do down here. So, I got a little something for you. A going away present. Oh, cool. If you want to label it. Don't think it's like a catapult to Earth or anything, but uh, it's like a token of my appreciation for what you've accomplished. Oh, Sam, you didn't have to do that. Actually, you literally could have done absolutely nothing and we wouldn't have known the difference. I should <laughs> give it to you in private, though, by the cap. Away from the, uh, the, the route. Oh, okay. That, that twist was not a surprise to me at all, I must admit. She seemed way too familiar so, with Satan. Milo and Lola, I do bequeath you my seal of approval. Cool! <laughs> We got three now. I know you cats already have all the seals you need, but um, just think of it like a good luck charm. And this way, Luke can't fuck with you and say he swears up and down on a pyramid of baby heads that he said three seals and not two. I've played softball with that guy too much to know he cheats like a mother effer. Wow, Sam, <laughs> this this means a lot. It does. I I don't I don't know what to say really. You don't have to say anything. We're uh we're friends, so you know, no biggie. All right, enough sappy bullshit. Let's hit the road. Get you kids back home. Yeah, man, let's get the hell out of here. Shame you can't come with us. Alright, let's do this. God, make it a dancing competition still. We, Please. We got to know a lot of people tonight. It was quite the mix of uh, intrapersonal developments and, uh, and uh, interpersonal problem solving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But who should we ask to do this? We only get two. We only need two, so give me the list. Uh, who's, who would say yes? Uh, I would say yes. My shift ended like five hours ago. I've just been doing this for fun. <laughs> Sam, that's, that's awesome. Seriously, I mean, uh, I, I've only, we've only just met you, but I'm sure I can speak for Lola when- You can stop talking now. Uh, okay. What about Polly? No. Can we have uh, Wormhorn? I don't know if I really trust her. I think she's up to something. Oh, hey, what about Wormhorn? There you go. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess we're okay now. <laughs> Come on, Miri. <laughs> I like her. I like her. She's an asshole, but I like her. <laughs> awesome. We got our group, our our team. We're I feel good. You should feel good. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know about everybody else in here, but I for one feel pretty darn good about this. We got oh. two demons on our team. Sure we got this. Do they get to leave too then? Kinda wanna help Mary not get, you know, killed. <laughs> Mary, you're here. Let's go do this. Asmodeus would have been my other choice. He was cool. <laughs> Want to skip the hustle and bustle and head straight to Lucifer's? I think Mary's too tall. Satan's please. Alrighty. Don't don't hit, hit your head there. Great, good. You're doing so well. Mary, you just phased through it. Okay, whatever. Right, here we go. Why are we controlling Milo all of a sudden? Party looks kind of dead. Well, mm. I think Satan's probably the kind of guy whose parties run past their sell-by date pretty regularly. <laughs> it's kind of charming. Sure. But, um, unfortunately what's less charming is you've got a little bit of a leash on you now. What do you mean? You know how they check your bags at concerts and you can't go in once you've stepped through the door? Well, once you go into Satan's house... <laughs> Thing might as well be a railgun shooter. Oh, let's just get on with it. I have met every dumbass I want to tonight. Let's just. They all were really nice Thanks. people, mostly. Makes sense. Yeah, let's just do this. Come on. No problem. We got this. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, ladies and Milo. <laughs> ladies and Milo. Uh, Satan? Are you... where? No, I know we like to say they're like ants or uh, voles, but they get from someone who saw them come out of the kiln. Well, there he People is. Let's go get him. People are just parents. Particularly in their, uh, how to put this, uh, their capability of feeling loneliness. Uh, Satan? <sighs> oh, 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 it's you, uh, mm... Milo? Ah, uh, Milo, yes, that's, that's your moniker. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the party's mostly uh, winding down, but I think there's some booze spilled in various ashtrays throughout. If you're so inclined, no judgment. Look, we got the team, okay? You said it was a team sport, so we, we got one. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I think you're mistaken. Mistaken about what? I said you had to get friends. You need friends to have a drinking contest, a true drinking contest. We've got friends. I... I thought that's what you wanted to do, correct? We have. We brought our friends. No, those aren't your friends. Sam Hill, and your own personal demon. What, did you look up how to do this on GameFAX? What? Huh? These aren't your friends, okay? Do you really think they'll be there for you when the chips are down? Yes, they are. We're, we're all good. The fact of the matter, kids. There's no such thing as friends. In hell or anywhere else. Sam, can you step in here? Polly, if you came for the ball drop, we only do that on New Year's. Judge Apollyon, what a fucking surprise. <laughs> I take it by your tone, you don't actually consider this a surprise? No. I've known for some time that you and a town's worth of extras were planning something. So what is this? Sula deposing Marius? The Personian conspiracy? Hm. Treachery is a sin, dear sister. Maybe the greatest of sins. But hey, you want to run hell in the shadow of Beelzebub? Fine. My guy. Uh, like I give a shit. How should we start? It would have been easier with Roberto. It's fine. We... I can lead it myself. We're supposed to, um... We're supposed to go over our memories. Say what we remember. Tell us how you've made us all feel. Not to be judgmental. Not be confrontational. And it's... Hard. This is hard, standing here. Um, harder than I thought it would be. 
pot. You know what I remember? I remember playing tag with you across the Hadean. I remember unicellular life popping like popcorn. You and I watching it. Uh, Satan? This is your fucking intervention, Morningstar, and you're gonna listen to every single thing we have to say. Wait, 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 wait. What? This is an intervention? You're, you're, you're pulling my leg. Oh, but shit, does this, should we like, should we not be here for this? Are you kidding me? Luke is fine. We party, so what? Morningstar, hell can be, it can be a place for reflection, for rehabilitation, for, for skepticism, for study. But you've turned your back on everyone and everything. It's, it's not fair to, to Beelzebub. No. Or, or Sam. Hiya. Or me. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> your brothers and sisters, Luke. We care Milo, about you. Lola, I think we have a drinking contest to start. Lucifer, this is... This is serious. Oh, is it? Um, really? Because I, I have to say, maybe this doesn't <laughs> seem uh, appropriate anymore. We, we tried to get an expert interventionist, Roberto, but he was sentenced to heaven. Oh, golly gee, what a uh -huh. surprise. The guy who's most devoted his life to trying to help addicts gets to go to heaven. Lucifer. Okay, kids, here's how we do this. Morning, it's star. a drinking game with two rounds. Round one is beer pong, your team against mine. <laughs> Lucifer, stop acting like a child. Hey, beer pong! <laughs> Are you okay? This seems, this is weird. No, weird. it isn't. Nothing's weird about it. We shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> and yet we are. So get ready for beer pong, everyone. All right, we have hey, to actually win this one. The sport one. of philosophers and kings. Follow me, all right? And quickly, as we continue getting interrupted. I don't want to lose this Mom, time. Luke, good morning, Star. You know how many people have come up to me to say that they're worried about you? It's been a lot, a, a big number. And look, I even had my doubts this would work, okay? We haven't exactly been celebrating Christmases together, you know, but... He's not listening to you, lady. Understand that? Your friends are jerks, man. You understand man. that this is about <laughs> Milo and Lola? So, shut up. <laughs> it's like, somebody here shut up. the wrong side of the, the, uh, what's the saying? Fridge? Is yeah, it a refrigerator or It's a refrigerator, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I, I think I could be of some assistance here. No, Mary, you... Luke, you're a very nervous fellow, right? He's not listening to you, freak. So shut the hell up. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Nice try, Mary. Okay, here's how we do this. We have to win. Star, what the fuck are you doing? Don't you hear what we're trying to say to you? That you have a problem. That, that, that hell is crumbling because of it. Two teams. Two teams, yours and mine. We play. We're teams take talking, turns. Or not you no cheating, listen. no cuts. Winner takes all. Just like love and war. Easy okay. enough? Father Chocoblock? All right. Drink. I opened up the house barrel, so the selection is wide and varied. Hey, good to see you again. Want something else? Is he one that makes me good at this? <laughs> Sports fanatic. Rich asshole. Kinda want that one. Lovable lush. Witty asshole. Hopeless romantic. Mad mobster. Floozy. Pirate- oh, I kind of want Pirate Captain again. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Raging Psycho. I kind of want that one. Alright, that one. global extinction sounds exactly like A global like extinction. Right sounds Good perfect. Pick. It's sort of my specialty. Hit me up with a global extinction. Oh, sweet, it's on fire. Okay, go up to your <laughs> side when ready. I'm ready. Rock. Come on, Lola, you can do it. We got four cups this time. Yes! Drink, bitch! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Miss you. Ah, would have been embarrassing if I missed, right? Maybe. You know, kids, I'd, uh, I'd play for your honor and everything, but Luke is my brother, and I feel like I should set a proper example, as well as I can, anyway. Come on, dude. We picked you to help us. I guess if you really don't want to, or think it'll hurt Lucifer, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> nice 
one, you goddamn waste of celestial space. Open your eyes! Shut up, Chernabog. We missed a tin. Relax, guys, it's only a game. Come on, buddy, you can make it. We missed a tin because she wouldn't play. Not cool, bro. Drink! Go on, Miri, you got this for us, man. You were good at this. You kicked our asses. All right, Mary, do this. Oh, I'm trying. Christ. Can you just stop yelling at each other, please? Awesome. I'm up. Whew, I feel like I should be pretty good at this by now. You got what this, Mary. the fuck are you? <laughs> what? I'm Sister Mary Wormhorn. Eat their eyes oh, and livers Sorry. and spleens and do it now in front of everyone. Hey, humans can do this too! Shit! Hey, great! <laughs> great job! It's alright, Miri, it's alright, it's alright. You tried. Come on, Lola, you can do it. It's alright. Yes! One more. This is the hard one, though. It really is. I mean, I Jesus, sure they're so see. good! <laughs> Shit! Alright, alright. Come on, Sam, please. Yeah, just skip my turn, okay? I don't, I don't really feel good about playing beer pong against my alcoholic brother. Okay, fine. Do, do what you think <laughs> is right. <laughs> You're gonna make us lose, Sam. We get Why stuck in hell because of you. We're not gonna be friends. This moron. Me? Why are you? You're, you're, you're Chad. What are you even doing here? <laughs> You'll get it next time. Come on, Aww. you can make it. You're very caring there, Satan. Ah, oh, come on. Are you serious? How can you be this bad? How can you be that? Mary, you got this. Come on. Ugly, huh? Ever ponder that? Come on, Mary. I believe in you. Chernobog. Yeah, you're going to do to do so well. Yeah. I do, really. Yes. We got you. Even with Sam skipping her turn. You had one extra turn every round, and we still won. Dear Lucifer, humans really aren't worth the bones they're printed on. Oh, like you're doing much better. But Tala, stop it. It's supposed to be fun. Come on, guys, you've already lost. God, I love this game. Christ, get him up. I'm fucking <laughs> fine, okay? Jesus, Joseph, it's a fucking party. Relax. We're all just having a good time, okay? This isn't a good time. Look at this whale of a tail. This homegrown maniac can't keep his horses from drawling. What the fuck does that mean? I'm calling it, okay? <laughs> this is a straight edge party now. You're all teetotalers. This isn't your party to control, Polly. You don't even know where you are right now, Morningstar. I certainly hope you're joking, Apollyon. It's a bit of a character flaw of mine. I can't accept disrespect. Not in my own house. I follow our father in that regard. Am I kidding with you? No. Take a step back. Now. Okay, everybody. Let's just, let's take it easy. Ugh. Luke. Fuck it. I don't even give a shit, okay? Milo and Lola won the first round. Morningstar, just stop. Uh, they're gonna... They're gonna make it. They're gonna do what I... What I never could. What's that? Get out from under the cosmic plan someone else made for you. Ah. Will you stop enabling him? Stop playing his stupid games. This is bigger than just the two of you. No, Polly, but this, this is what we signed up for. We have to get out. We're not gonna, gonna sacrifice our lives just so the souls of the dams get a slightly better situation. It's not just... <clears throat> you have to understand. Morningstar needs treatment, okay? Everything he does is connected to everyone he watches after and everyone that watches after him. Now end it. All right, shit. On to round two. Round two. Good old-fashioned drink-off. Brother. Morningstar, that's it. We're, 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 d you're gonna sit down and listen to us and, and, and hear us. Hear you? You want me to hear you, is that what you said? To be weak is to be miserable. 
To do aught good never be our task, but ever do ill our sole delight. <laughs> and now, you want me to sit down and listen to all the ways I've disappointed you? <laughs> Hell, I'm not going to do it. Hell is without its leader, Lucifer. There are souls out there that need your wisdom. Clear-minded wisdom. Shit, there are souls in here that need it. Your family needs it. Your family wants you back. There's nothing to come back to. Uh, maybe, maybe we should just go. Yeah, this, uh, seems, I don't know, a little, <laughs> a little personal. The drink-off is happening with my real friends, okay? Right, Chernobog? They're not your friends, uh... they're twat. Right, Chernobog? Polly, I mean, she's like, she's like my Aunt Luke, and... Oh, fucking hell, are you... Just cause she babysat you when you were shot out of Tartarus? Morning, Star. We are finishing the challenge. <laughs> my, Lola, we're getting some weird domestics going this on really here. This really isn't necessary, Luke. Shut up, Bezel. Uh, Lola, do you want to do it? Uh, sure. Satan, just, just can't you fuck? Beelzebub, can you just like... Yes, Luke, this has really gone far enough. The games are over. You need help, and we're here to help you. Milo, let's... No, Milo, Lola, go home. You've done enough. Those are my guests, Bezel. You don't have the capacity to make decisions right now. You cannot. At least we made friends in high places, anymore, you know. Luke. No matter what, star, we're friends with Satan now. <laughs> before you have another fall. <sighs> you guys are being so fucking lame right now. And you know what? I don't think I want to look at you anymore. Luke. Oh. Looks like the second round's happening over here. What assholes, am I right? Oh, don't worry, they can't... <coughs> Follow us here to the abyss, the unworld. Okay. Nature's womb between heaven and hell and your material, uh, material plane. Unless God wants to fart some more unicorns into existence, then it's his damn workshop. Why, why'd you bring us? Wouldn't you rather be, like, alone right now? No, no. I'm, uh, we should finish the game, definitely. Can we have a dancing competition right. instead? I feel like I'm better at that. <laughs> the glass stacking thing is not going to go well for me. It didn't last time, although I didn't really know how to do it either. You so need a bigger chair. come down to this moment. <laughs> You've come quite a long way. Finding indeed. Linda's replacement. Polly's ridiculous trial. Asmodeus and the dance competition. You really? Bloomed to the people I would be honored to let return to their world. Well, that's nice. And to their future. So, are you ready? You've certainly had enough practice. I'm, I'm not playing against you, Morningstar. It won't, won't be good for anybody. It won't be good for? It'll be good for you. Polly or Dog Fornius, the rest, they don't know me anymore. They don't know what they're talking about. So... I'm starting the game now. All right. Do you understand? Looks like we don't have a choice. If I keep going, you'll fall too far behind. It won't be able to catch up. Satan, I'm not joking. You seriously, for real, need help. I think you're an I alcoholic, man. <laughs> you're going to need help if you don't put down a glass. We already won the first round. What are you going to do? Look, this isn't a joke, Pilgrim. This isn't some trick or moral quandary you're going to massage your way out of. There is only the game, and whether or not you want to win. So I would put down a glass and start playing while you still can. You gotta help him. Your friends down he there? He seems like a nice guy, you know? You. They're scared that you- They're scared? Scared of what? <laughs> that I'm gonna drink myself to death? You want to know why you're in hell? Really? Truly? Yes. Deceit. You lie. With one denying truth, there goes to hell. That one who having done says, I did not. You lied to Fella, as you lied in life. As you're lying to yourself right now, that you want to help me. You don't want to help me. You want to beat this silly piece of entertaining drivel some secret way. Fourth wall breaking there, again. There is no secret way. So pick up your glass and drink with me. Why we're here doesn't matter right now, Luke. Okay, I know that you think that I'm going to learn some lesson here. It's painfully obvious that you're trying to do the right thing. But I'm here to tell you, 
So I don't want to hear any fucking whining after, because I warned you repeatedly that all that's going to happen unless you start playing is I will win and you will lose. You'll be here for This place is nice anyway, I like it here. Will have come <laughs> it. So you should really consider. I'm not drinking with you, okay? It's, it's not gonna happen no matter how much you may want it to or need it to. You don't need to drink to be happy, Satan. Take it from me, you really don't. <sighs> you know you come into the light thinking I'm pretty special. And then you get a little older and people tell you, actually, you're not that special. And you believe it. You get older still and now your banner says, what I do defines me, my charity, my wicked acts. And then you get older still and you realize it's been luck that's determined your entire life. I'm not up to that point yet. Were you yet. born <laughs> impoverished or rich or ill? Did you die as a oh, child? Yeah, Did your mother love you? And then you realize all life is driven by it. A half second too slow, oxygen never bonds, a half minute too fast, a, a planet doesn't emerge. Everything that is, is here by an infinite number of fortuitous accidents and lucky breaks. That's true. And in the yawn of all that, you think finally, conclusively, fuck, I am pretty special. That's my dad's loop of self-determination. I like that. I like that. No soul can ever escape. And believe me, I've tried. But I'm giving you something he never could. A gift of achievement. You can accomplish something here. Sitting in that chair, playing this game. You can feel like you've beaten a god. Some people go their whole lives without that feeling. And I wouldn't squander it if I were you. So put down your fucking glass! I think we're done. Self-annihilation is... that it? Suicide is a sin against God and nature. You're the goddamn heroes of this story, you ungrateful little... You don't want to win? Is that it? We have to do you what's right, come on. You me about victory? About loss? You think you can teach an angel anything? Don't believe with one atom of thought that I don't know what you're doing. This wouldn't be winning, Luke. This would be us taking advantage of a really sad guy who's in a lot of pain who thinks he's taking advantage of us. I, I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> you don't know what pain is. You, you're so self-righteous. No one has ever folded, but you think you're above it. I've seen what real loss looks like, children. What, what letting down your friends looks like. And I'm seeing it again right now. You two could have, could have gotten out of here, gone back home. And instead, you're just throwing it away for a stranger. It's, this is for more than just you. You have people that depend on you, that care about you. They care about their appearance of caring. Well, I don't think that's true. This, I don't, this doesn't feel right. I don't care what you say. Your friends back in hell are right. We're not doing this. Well, like I said, people always think they're special. But that's, that's God lying to you. My dad was a guy who found a beach and started making sandcastles. He's the only real lucky one. We're all lucky. Lucky to be here. It's special to be here, to be anywhere it is. You're lucky to have people who want the best for you. I'm... I'm... That's a very good point. No, he's... he's like 16 feet tall. It's Satan, you know? <laughs> 16 feet tall. Wait, never mind. The... You piece of shit! You know how scared we all were? You, you, you can't just leave and not... I know. You... Wait. You know. Milo and Lola forfeited. What? Why? Ask them. They can speak for themselves. Why? Why did we do this? Because hell needs its Satan back, and he should see what sacrifice means. Yeah, we all we all want to drink our faces off and forget our problems and not be responsible, but but if we drank each other into oblivion, nothing would really work, would it? So. So we're not going to do the contest. We're staying in hell where we belong. 
Luke? I, uh, I, uh... It's okay, Morningstar. It is. It's... It's going to be. We converted Sam's old church into a, a, a facility, and they're ready to take you right now. Not that there was that much to convert. It was more like set dressing Toronto to look like New York. Uh, I'll go for the night. Okay, for the night. We'll take it. No, and the, the fucking guy, he just sits there, and he's talking to me like, I don't know, you don't go down 7th past 6 without an umbrella. And Sam and I look at each other like, what? And I finally say, <laughs> my dude, no block party is worth getting donkey urine rained on you. Fucking amen. Right? Like, these flyers are pretty cool, but mm, sorry. Hey guys, hey Phil, you still owe me that money. I'm not even kidding you. Okay, I'm, I am kidding you a little. <laughs> that makes it feel, like the fourth time in a week we've met here. I like the ambiance. <laughs> it's a chain. That new pad tie open just down the block. Now, I was already there with Nostradamus. It's worse than the old place. Hey, Milo, what can I get you? Whatever Lola's having. You sure? Don't want a menu. We added some stuff. Jesus, are we seriously still doing that? Yes, old habits die hard. Hey, War Dog, how's it going? Fine, fine. How's it going? Uh, I'm good. Thanks. Hi, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but Satan fell off the wagon. Well, you know, it can be hard keeping it up. Just gotta have patience. Give him, you know, give him whatever he needs. Anyway, feels above's gonna have a talk with him. I don't know. I'm optimistic. He has a support system now. I mean, I know people can be flakes, but he, uh, I think he wants it to work. And uh, everybody wants it to work. People have been telling me things have been uh, better, generally, since he started working again. More thematically relevant tortures, uh, longer vacation time. Well, that's good. <laughs> Makes me happy to hear. Hey, Lola, Milo, <laughs> did you get the invite to my um, my lecture series on mechanics and special relativity on ethereal planes? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Well, just make sure you show up early. See through these things. I'm gonna fill up fast. Okay. It's the West Hall, next to the Enclave of Giant Scorpions. Try to be there Go. before six. I, we, well, I'm pulling it up on my phone right now. Hey, Father Van Dyke, can we get some shots here? Okay, Milo, what the fuck is going on? Lola <laughs> Wolf, you are a monster. I just want you to know that. Why? Beelzebub spilled it. He wanted me, he wanted us to be the ones to tell you. You got the damn job. What? You're gonna be one of the first human defenders of lost souls. Congratulations. Oh, we gonna be a lawyer? Oh my god, I, 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 can't I can't believe it! I know, right? It's crazy. I mean, we live for a relatively short amount of time, but I really feel like we're hitting our stride here. Like, <laughs> if friends are your home, then, you know, this is still probably definitely not home, but at least a close <laughs> proximity to a treehouse near your home. Ain't Thanks, Milo. Ain't truth, brother. To Lola. No! So Lola and Milo. Hip, hip! <laughs> Hey, Sam. Lola, Milo, <laughs> I found another loophole. Not, not at all like the last one. This one is totally, it, it's totally different. It's completely unique and fun in its own new way with divergent, di a new diverse quest. Uh, things to do now. And, uh, and um, well, it's, 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 it's a little more expensive looking with like, um, you know, you can uh, run now and maybe jump. Well, we're not we're not sure yet. You you could probably do like uh you could probably walk around with like breaking the fourth wall again. Thermos now or something. Oh, a thermos. Anyways, uh, you only have tonight to do it. So you interested? Yeah, of course. This place fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. This place fucking sucks. Well, that was pretty great, man. The writing was genuinely funny. Probably the funniest game I've played in a couple of years now. Really good. I hope you guys enjoyed the series as much as I enjoyed playing it, recording it. I'll let the credits run as usual. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.